Hello and welcome back to part 17 of my journey towards my Bachelor's of Science Information Technology degree from Western Governors University. So today's video is all about two classes that I've completed recently. The first one is English Composition 2, which is class number C456. So this is all about creating an argumentative research paper. So uh, unlike a uh, Comp 1, where you're writing four smaller papers, this one's going to take you a little bit longer to write the, the main paper. They're looking for about eight to ten pages to kind of give you an idea. So two, two stages to this particular uh, paper, or two tasks, if you like. The first one is to complete an annotated bibliography template, which they provide, so you download that. The template is looking for uh, basically the topic, what you're going to write about. Or, and if you're worried about that, there is a whole bunch of uh, ideas that they will give you a big list. Uh, I, mean, I mean, a big list. So don't worry about that. Or you can choose something that's not on the list as well. So if you have an idea already, um, you can use that. So in the template, you're going to create a thesis for your uh, research paper. Uh, you're then going to uh, go out and basically try and find eight to ten uh, sources uh, and for the paper. So there's a lot of different areas you can search. Obviously, the Internet's the main one. You can go to your local library. You can use their online library. Western Government University have a lot of it, uh, information you can pull for from there. So you're looking for like research papers, um, education uh, uh, websites, organizational websites, things like that. Basically, uh, sources that are going to back up your argument. So once you've done that, you're going to write a quick summary. You're going to put them into like an APA format and you're then going to submit the template. Fairly straightforward. Uh, might take you, I don't know, four to six hours, maybe total, depending on you know uh, how, how quickly you find your sources. Uh, once you get the uh, the task back saying, yes, you're good to go, you can then go ahead and create your uh, write your paper. So for me, this one took a little bit of time. In fact, this uh, actual class took about a month from start to finish. And it wasn't that it took me a month to write the paper. It was just simply, I'm one of those people that actually needs to sit down and write the paper kind of in one go. And I know, and it was hard for me to find that time. I can't just like write one paragraph one day and then come back two days later and write a little bit more. It's not really how I work. So uh, the big thing was finding the window, which eventually I was able to do. So once I completed the paper, uh, I basically was able to do a couple of drafts and then write it and then make sure I spell check it, that kind of stuff, uh, and then make sure I was happy with it. There's a couple of rewrites, etc. And then I was able to submit it. And then uh, about two days later, I got my results saying I passed. So overall, not the toughest class, certainly one that if you're good at writing, you could probably knock this out in a weekend um, if you have the time. So um Possibly a quick win for, for those of you that are really good at writing and uh, especially those that have come out of college recently because you're probably in that mindset of writing a paper. Someone like me, um, it was a little bit tougher because, you know, I haven't written a college paper for a long time. So free credit units for that particular class. And like I said, not too bad. Certainly a quick win for you. The next one was, uh, let's see, Emerging Technologies, which is class number C850. So this one is an, uh, two credit units and it's another paper. So this one is just a straight up, um, basically you take a case file that they provide a, a tech, uh, and they, this company, and basically they explain a couple of technical issues that this company is having. And then what you're going to do from there is you're going to basically follow the rubric and then basically give them some um, advice, uh, some direction about how you think you can solve their technology problems with emerging tech. It's that straightforward. Now for me, uh, I probably went, well overboard i think i and i know i did i wrote a lot more than probably what they were looking for um in total i spent oh, i don't know maybe four to six hours on this paper when i could have probably done it in two so this is definitely a quick win again for those people that have time now there is some course material that goes alongside it which is those who don't know what emerging technology is you can uh you can go into the material you're not uh, uh and there's some quizzes and some um some videos you can watch and as always but really I'm not sure you really need to watch that material if you already in the IT field because you might already have some ideas on how to solve the problem the big tip I can give you for this class is look for the instructors um, welcome email now I didn't do that you know like when you sign up for a class you get that email saying hey, welcome to the class you know if you have any questions contact me and anyway this particular uh, email was actually quite useful because inside the email there was a couple of uh, attachments and basically one of them was a basically step-by-step -step breakdown of what they're looking for. And as I saw later, because I, I read the email after I submitted the paper, I, 
I wrote way too much and I could have simplified it. I'll give you an example. They're only actually looking for you to fix one of the issues in the case study. I fixed them all and there's like six of them. So like I said, I went a bit overboard. So that would be the first thing I would definitely do. Sign up for the class, wait for the email to come. Hopefully it's from the same instructor. I'm pretty sure it's probably generic. But uh, anyway, but that's what I did um, after the fact. But anyway, I still passed. It came out really quickly. They graded it the following morning. And like I said, quick uh, two credit units out the way. So for both of these writing papers, uh, the only other kind of tips I can give you is first of all, um, print it out if you've got a printer because when you write a paper sometimes when you're looking at it on a computer screen it's hard to I think to really see it print it out you can get a pen you can cross out lines you can basically read through it that, that's a really good tip for me and I, I found a lot of like grammar uh, grammar kind of errors that way and I that really, maybe I'm old school but that definitely helped uh, get someone else to read it I got my I, my wife to look at one of the papers and you know she gave me some ideas so obviously it's got to be your own um own material but she can certainly say well this doesn't make sense or something like at least help you a little bit the other thing i would suggest you do is uh, use a um, software called grammarly i'm sure you've probably seen the commercials on television or on the internet but grammarly is basically a a software that you it, it, it you can run alongside it uh, your word processing uh, software and it basically um, gives you advice like punctuation spelling and things like that there is a free version uh, which is what I've got, or you can pay for the premium one, which is a lot more uh, detailed. But even the free one's really good. It just picks up little details, helps you um, minimize your writing, etc. So it really helps. Um, I'm not sponsored by Grammarly. This isn't a commercial. But all I'm saying is it, I found it really easy. And like I say, it's free, uh, so you don't have to uh, you know, pay for it. And um, it certainly helps, especially for those people that uh, maybe aren't the great spellers or haven't um, written a paper for a long time. So that's all I have for today. Um, in the United States this week, it's Thanksgiving coming up soon. So those people uh, that are celebrating that holiday, I uh, hope you enjoy it with your family. Obviously, I know it's a crazy time still in this world that we live in. I hope you're staying healthy and safe. And if there's anything I can do to help you with your studies, please let me know. Um, take care and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you.